good morning. It is currently a lovely Saturday morning here in Shea Storpy. But at Shea Da Vinci, we're going to be playing some puzzles. I am Storpy, your faceless for today, host. And this game was very, very kindly gifted to me recently by Yannick. So thank you very much and thank you well, Yannick. We're going to enter the new profile name. There we go. So Da Vinci knows who's amazing. We'll check out the options. No, we won't check out the options. We'll just get straight on in. So I understand this is a, a cool atmospheric puzzle game. Uh, escape room style puzzle game based on the works of Da Vinci. Florence in 1506. Okay. Click and drag the mouse to look around. Double click on the guard to get a closer look. <clears throat> okay. We look at the leaks. Let's not go off rails already. Have a look at this guard who's high as a kite. Double click on the scroll to focus on it. Yep. We'll left click on the scroll to take it. Thank you very much. Found us a scroll. I wonder who wrote this letter and what it's about. I'm hoping it's directly from Da Vinci. Oh, pull off the ribbon. We're, I love this sort of tactile gameplay. Here we go. It's already reminding me of The Room, which I played quite a long time ago on a tablet I used to have before it stopped working. Completed item. It's a letter from Leonardo himself. Dear friend, I won't do the accent. I am sending this message to you through a trustworthy messenger, as events of recent days do not allow me to meet you personally. For a long time, I have been working on an extraordinary invention. It is so significant that if it goes beyond everything I created before, no if, Steve, just it. On the one band, on the one hand, the machine fills me with pride, but I am also fearful lest the invention fall into the wrong hands. This is the reason why the entrances to my house are well secured. This is my plea to you. Gain entry to my library where you will learn more. In the mailbox, you will find my new optical invention, which I have named the Oculi Infinitum. I know you well, and I am convinced that you are very gifted. <laughs> I am sure you will discover how to use it. Thank you, Leonardo da Vinci. That's his famous signature there. He was a clever man. Right click to zoom out. Entrance door on the left. That must be Leonardo da Vinci's abode. Okay, first of all, I want to go back and steal the keys off the guard. We don't seem to be able to do that. I know this place. It's an entrance to the master's house used by the servants. Oh man, it looks like a puzzle already. Okay. Should we get in and have a, a closer look? The mechanism must be a bell. It looks like its upper part can be turned. I mean, we are still in tutorial mode at the moment, so that's okay. We're allowed this. Ah! We moved it across to there. That went chunk and came up. Now, if we do the bottom one, that should lift this out. And there we have it. <laughs> and we get whatever the hell that is, an old metal rat tail. Yep, small metal object. Um, it's got a plus on it, so that can be combined with other objects to complete them. It seems that I found one part of the key. A key. I must find the other part. Right, well, this looks suspicious down here, doesn't it? Check the mailbox, yes. Another thing that turns off. There it is. That was more straightforward than I expected. Drag one to the other. Then drag that to there, I see. And then, oh my god, then we have to lock it into position. Oh, if this is a, a sign of what's to come, we're going to have some good brain brain scratching going on. And I'm here for it. Look for a place to use the key. Right, well, I reckon this slides across. You can see that slides across there. Anything else? Hmm. Okay, it's keeping me here for now. So I guess we must do something here. Maybe we just stick it there? No, come on, Steve. Think about it. So we're not able to slide that across. Be able to slide it up and down, left and right? No. 
Maybe if we... Ah, we double-click on it to get closer in. That's fine. Slot. In it goes. Give it a twist. Lefty Lucy. And open that. That's quite stunning, isn't it? Look at the iridescence on that. I love iridescence. Okay, we take it out. This must be the Oculi Infinitum that Leonardo mentioned in his letter. Where can I test it? Click and drag up on the lens icon to use the Oculi Infinitum. Click on the icon to deactivate it. Oh, wow. Amazing, I just clicked that away, sorry. The master has done something incredible. Okay, right, so, if we... I want to get out of here, because I want to just see how it all fits together, but we, we don't seem to be able to, that's fine. Oh, there we go. Yeah, click it to get rid of it. So that's how it looks without, and we're going, oh, what are we doing, what are we doing? But, so we slide that up. Got this together. Looks like these line up just so. Uh, appears to be the door open. There's something on the other side, but I assume that's just decoration. Is there anyone following me? What have you seen, guard? Oh. I wasn't expecting peril. He's disappeared. Oh, shit. <laughs> Right, hopefully we come across him again in the house. What just happened at the Badia Frontina? The rubble from the blast must have hit the master's house. I hope he was not injured. In we go, as I finish my lovely coffee. Yes, guys, it's back to those days of FTL. Saturday morning, quiet, calm and relaxed, having a lovely cup of coffee. I'd recommend if you don't have a lovely warm beverage or something relaxing, go and get one now. Pause this video, it'll wait. It's a nice long video. And go and wait and uh, I'll be here when you get back. Right, got your beverage? Let's go. Oh, puzzle level six there. How to get in through the door. Now I'm being flippant at the moment, but <laughs> I know this is going to get harder. I hope it's not one of, going to be one of those really annoying things for you guys to watch where you're like, Steve, you missed this over and over again. You'll just have to live with that. I'll preface this entire game by saying very difficult when you're in the moment and recording and talking to notice things. Sometimes you get a little bit of tunnel vision and it can happen. And you getting frustrated is not going to change anything. Leaving frustrated comments won't change anything. What's happened has happened. OK, the master's library where he seeks inspiration and gains knowledge. Surely I'll find some clues here to what has happened. Surely. Okay, well. That looks like a bust, perhaps, of Leonardo himself. Should we... Let's go and have a look at that first. Let's not do what the game suggests. Okay, so we're looking for a... Well, a circle on top of a, a triangle of some sort. To fit into that. That's suspicious as well. Here we go, yeah. We need another another piece for that. Okay, so we're looking for a piece of flower, a circle on a triangle. Doesn't seem to be much I can do with him, I don't think. I can't see anything with which I can interact. Oh, hello. What's that? That's just a bit of a bit of texture. Okay. Cool. And then this, be able to have a look at this. There's a wee keyhole in the top. An ivory inlaid box. I wonder what's hidden inside. What's this? Ah, is that clues and hints? I don't want clues and hints. Um, so I'm not going to click on that yet. Yeah. If we double-click this, does it give us a... 
No, it doesn't. Okay, so it was only the ivory inlaid box that we got some sort of hint for. Got some books and things here. Okay, I suppose it's time to look at what centerpiece is. Not much the wiser. Oh, it's a scroll. Okay. Slip this off beautifully. Keep that seal. Could be worth something one day. There you are. Scroll seal. It's got arrows on it, which makes me think, actually, if we... Oh, we'll read this first, then. But I think we need to line those arrows up and it'll open. You now find yourself in a library that, with its solid walls, protects the wisdom gathered here for centuries. I am a being pursued by dangerous people, and this is the only place where I am able to find peace and inspiration. This room also hides a passage to my workshop, which is known to no one besides myself. In order to discover the way into the workshop, you will have to use your astute mind. Somewhere in here, I've hidden another invention that will help you find your way further. Never forget, the one fool to, uh, the one tool that best allows people to understand the world is the accuracy, consistency, and precision of their observations. Okie doke. As I thought, the master has hidden something which might help me. I must keep my eyes open. I've just remembered. We hop back across to this chat. Look at the Oculi Infinitum. We'll find that there's nothing interesting. Ah! Ivory inlaid box. Hello there. Hmm. That's where a key goes. So I suppose we need a key first, don't we? This is good, though. Um, I'll have another look around the room with this, just in case there's anything that stands out. Doesn't appear to be. Fine, so let's get forwards. Ah, no, first of all, we'll open this up. We can rotate that. Ah, look! It's the three-spoked seal. Thrice has it been spoken. We know exactly where that goes, don't we? Just a question of getting over there. Chunk. Okay, and then presumably this turns as well. And now the purpose of the statue is revealed. The bust, rather. Okay. Oh, we've got to move his eyes. Press both his eyes in. And... Aton anatomically accurate as ever, off comes his head. Oh, gosh. Oh, I, I think I can see what we want to do here. We've got... We've got a green slot... A, sorry, a green chunk, a red chunk, and a blue chunk. And I think the blue chunk needs to go between the two blue gems, the green between the two green gems, and the red between the two red gems. So let's get on with that. It goes. There's something remarkably satisfying about these sorts of games. I do like some sort of very, very heavy puzzle games. Where you're really, really scratching your head, but... Um, there's something just more tactile and sumptuous about these sorts. Interesting. A gauntlet. Is that ours for good now? Ah, go straight in there, okay. To what end, Leonardo? To what end? Oh, he looks so... So creepy like that. I uh, don't think there was anything else in his head we needed to worry about, was there? Oh, maybe. Well, if we do this... Aha! Two... Two clockworky things, I don't... Oh! How am I moving those? I guess I'm just sort of moving them underneath, somehow. Then we want to turn it, don't we? So, that one that way, that one that way, and it's opened up. Okay, that's good to know. Even if there's not something on the surface where it looks like we can uh, interact with it, <clears throat> we should still be able to interact with it via the infinite eye. Take that too. Piece of wire. 
a good look at the fine wooden ornament. Got a slot on the end of it. I don't suppose that slots into there, does it? No. Okay. Glad we checked that. If in doubt, use the eye. Now, back to here again. Check it thoroughly all the way around with the eye. And we'll get a bit closer in. There's something that... Maybe that can go in there. No. Not a key, is it? It's just a wire. The gap up there... There's a gap down there. And there's a gap up there. And then there's no gap. It's bad workmanship, if you ask me. And this wooden, fine wooden ornament looks like it would go very well with all of this detailing. Actually, it looks like these are hinged, so it looks like they'll fly up at any moment. Those are reflective, but I don't suppose that does anything. We can't shift that up or down. Nor that one. What if we interact with the gap? There's nothing we can do there. Uh, same with this one. Up, down. Yeah, and you can even see underneath this flap up -y thing. When that comes flying up, we can see there's some metal stuff underneath. So perhaps all of that opens up via whatever goes in here. Let's try putting that on. No. That won't go in. Well, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I think it's time to look up a walkthrough. No, no walkthroughs for us. No, no hints up here either. Thank you. We've got a brain. We can, we can work stuff out. Now I can see something over here that looks a little bit suspicious. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, A to G. Let's just have a look on this. Okay, A to G. Oh. These must be <laughs> people who helped make the game or something. God, I hope there's no secrets in here. Well, I suppose we don't need to worry about that, do we? I don't want to flip through everyone's names just to be able to get... Get that. Misty, are you meowing at me? Am I not paying you attention? Ah, oh, there's more books. H to M. Oh! Was worth looking. And N to Z. We won't bother going through those, but look what we found. Achievement found. The printing press. Is that one of uh, one of his inventions? I didn't think he I thought it was Isn't it Caxton? William Caxton? Invented the printing press? Or did he just use it? Who knows? Right, we've not done anything with this yet. So we've we've got two slots on it. It's time, yeah, time to just take stock of what we've got and where. We've also got this. There's there's still quite a lot we need to we need to achieve. Um <clears throat> we found our way into here where we found the gauntlet. I still don't know quite what the gauntlet does for us. That's all right. In here, we got the rose piece, the, the wooden ornament. The wooden ornament. Um, this still needs to do something. I need a piece of that. Don't think a wire or the ornament would fit into that. And then here we have a key on top, keyhole on top, and a... Uh, what looks like a keyhole down below as well. Some sort of slot, anyway. Can't see inside it, can we? Ah, the wire does fit. I thought it looked somewhat correctly shaped. And look what we have here. There you go. Try everything. Part of wooden ornament. And we know where that goes. 
Oh, yes, we do. Ah, oh, I thought we were going to see that uh, bookcase slide open there. Right, we've got a, a spinning top or something. A brass screw. We're going to have a good look at the brass screw. I think that probably goes on the, the wooden ornament. Now I think about it. I think it goes in the back there. It does. And that gives us a square thing. Oh, hang on. We screw it in. Of course we do. There it is. Now we've got the wooden rows. But it's still like a, a doorknob or a something like that, isn't it? We've got a we've got a square thing for it to go into. Just double check what shape the top of this thing was. I don't think it was square. <clears throat> no, of course not. That's okay. Can't go over to the front door. Good to know. Now, I don't think this is going to do much here. But it does. Okay, great. As predicted, they all come up. Ah. Interesting. Oh, this goes up and through. Oh, God, okay, we've got to remember what's where. Okay, so that one can go up. As can this one. So far, so good. Still so far, so good. Still so far, so good. It's going to come to an end. Ah, I knew it. What about across here? Yeah, we can still go up. Brilliant. And now we know what these little divots were for. These little uh, lines above and below the woodwork. That's of concern. Maybe I can move them? I can move them. Okay, interesting. Well, I think we won that one there. Um, maybe we move it back. Can we move it back? No, not while we're in it. Ah. Okay, if we move that across there, that one up there. That one? No. So those don't move up or down, it's just these ones move left and right. Ah, oh, there we go. I mean, it makes sense for us to go down there, doesn't it? Good. And I think this was only three-sided, so we got the final one here. Ooh, a rotatey one. I do presume. Yep. Brilliant. Down we go. Rotate that bad boy, and across we go. And up we go. <clears throat> More sense to go that way. Ah. Now. What are we going to do about this? Probably do that. And then go back down and try and get, yes, onto that right hand track. Perfect. Oh no, there is a fourth one. There's always a fourth one, Steve. You've played games long enough now to know that there's always a fourth one. Can I not slide that across? Oh, interesting, okay. I mean, that's really the only way I can go. Yeah, I can't seem to slide that one. Um, okay. 
Let's get back off this, because I don't think this is working. We need to go like that. Perfect. There we are. Then that one can rotate. Down we go there. Still trying to give me hints, but I refuse. In fact, no, let's just see if this is a hint system, because I know what I'm doing here. Hint. Yeah, okay, this part of the labyrinth looks like a combination of the previous two. That's fine. I don't need, I don't need hints. But they are hints, and we can ignore them. We could probably even disable them, actually. Now we? Gameplay. Hints are off. Perfect. Okay, back to it. Hmm. Maybe we have to do this in order to get down. Yes, and I'm going to risk going left, being the right way. Yep, I think it was, because we can do that. And down we go. Oh, I wonder if it's possible to build these things. I thought this during playing The Room and its sequels. Um, I wonder if it's possible to to build things pretty much the work exactly like this, so there are no differences. Ooh. Can look up. Right. A little look on the top of here. We need a star. That's going to open so satisfyingly. We need a star. Um, we'll have a quick look at the light as well. There might be something interesting on the light. No, it just takes me straight straight to the top part. Okay. We have a small key, and I think just one place to use it, so... In it goes. A richly ornamented seal. With four square reliefs around it. Suggesting we might have to put four things in it. Can we look at it with this? Oh! Oh, I just... Wow, I was trying to turn it and the, the thing... <laughs> the thing came out. And look what we have now. We have the shape of a star. I don't think we even needed that. Plonk it in the top. Give it a twist. Now... Ah, this is going to need this, isn't it? Perhaps not. Ah, it looks like it's a light show. Okay. So we need to beam these. Where are we trying to get the light? Probably into there. That looks like a big receptacle, doesn't it? So... That... We can't turn that one. <clears throat> we can turn this one. This one I'm not quite sure what the point of is, but that's okay. Ah, uh, maybe the point of it is to shine into there. Then that beams over to the one in the bottom right. That one goes into there. And finally, we have light. Aha! And it's shining towards the book, which I could have gone to all along. I wonder if I could. I wonder if I could have just taken that book. Book with leather leather cover the best books have. Oh, a slightly scratched leather cover there. Yes, look at that. Oh. Is it going to form like a little table or something? No, but I can press that. Oh, I knew you could do it. The following lines, it sounded a bit like Dracula. The following lines are for your eyes only, which is why I hid them in this secret place. Our enemies pose more and more barriers to knowledge, wanting to know more than they are able to understand. You have proven you have an open mind, and deserve to see that which must remain invisible to the eyes of others. I leave you with my last invention. I named it the Oculi Tempus. It will allow you to look into the past and help in your search for the secret passage to my workshop. Watch for the unusual, perceive the extraordinary, 
Keep your mind awake and your eyes opened. LDV. Uh, this must be the Oculus Tempe. That's why we have the glove. I found another useful device. In his letter, Master calls it the Oculi Tempus. I must see how it works. Okay, maybe we go downwards for the time. I see. It's a marvellous invention. That looks pretty suspicious over there, doesn't it? Try to retrace the geometric shape as accurately as you can. Okay. We've got a Y in the middle and a... Uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. A hexagon on the outside. Oh, now I've got to do it all in one go. Okay. Well, that's not going to work. Hang on. Maybe we start in the middle. Oh, we can just go over where we've been. Okay. <laughs> That's, that doesn't matter then. I was thinking we had to do it all in one go. You are now seeing a short period of the past. You can shift the scene backwards and forwards in time. Look for clues that will help you move further. And I assume we use this to shift. Ah. So, 7.35 p.m. Leonardo da Vinci appears in the southwest quadrant of the entryway. He staggers slowly and jittery, jitterily <laughs> towards a very questionable amount of weird substance on four. And he presses this. Let's get rid of this. I don't, I don't like this. I don't need to see this now. Thank you. Again, I wonder if I could have just pressed that earlier on. Presumably not. Oh. Definitely a, a slightly ominous atmosphere to this. This sort of little level of threat, it feels like. Okay, room two. Master's secret workshop. I had no idea it was possible to get here from the library. And who was observing me from above? And why did they appear at the very last second? That's a door that opens. Good, okay. Uh, I want to go over here. It won't let me. Okay. We'll stay at the front. Now, welcome to the place where the ingenious combat machines for the Duke of Romagna were created. The catapult, the siege tower, machines that can effectively fight during an assault while providing protection for the soldiers and machine operators within. I wanted to meet you here, but some suspicious sounds warned me away. I have no choice. I must see for myself what it was. This place must be kept secret at all costs. Until I return, look around the workshop. I am most curious to hear what you will say about some of my works. All right, well, let's, let's give, you, give you our feedback, shall we? This is your clever catapult. Um... Do we need to do anything with the feather and the paper underneath? No, I don't think so. Right, let's familiarise ourselves with what we have here. Great big catapult. There's a shield on the front. I'm going to go to that first of all, see if we can shift it. Nothing suspicious there. Being in time? <laughs> nope. There right, doesn't seem to be any, any time manipulation, wibbly-wobbly stuff here, so we'll just pop back up to that and see if we've got any any secret markings. Any invisible ink, secret writing from Leonardo himself. Nope. nope. What's there is there. So, let's try opening this. This looks like a nice little door to start with. Oh, we need to... Can we unlock these bolts? Shift them across, maybe? Perhaps not. Yeah, that's not... that's not shifting. How would it shift? Those look like the hinges there, don't they? Or maybe it's hinged up here. But these need to slide across, and I, I can't seem to do that at the moment. Fine. What about on this side? What do we have? 
Something with a couple of... Let's try and keep that shape in mind. Something with just a hole in it. Can't interact in any other way yet. We've got a hole, we've got that shape. We've got a, a sort of windy up thing there as well. I have noticed the strange penis. And we'll get to that in good time. Ah, hang on. There's something that fits down that side there. Maybe it's another shield that then slides down. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. Can't interact with the shield. Let's have a look at the top. Two little soldiers. Ah, we can whiz those round. Right, we'll do that in a second. We can also change the soldier's orientation, which is good because we can see exactly how they should be oriented. Facing forts. Now comes the third one with a little wheel. A little wooden wheel. <laughs> Love the way it goes, goes back in again afterwards. Now that's a square hull. We'll have to see where that goes. I think we might have seen that. <clears throat> that was that, wasn't it? Hmm. No. <laughs> square, square peg in a round hole, Steve. You know the phrase. All right, well, let's turn these and see what happens. Interesting. Puts the flag up and makes it completely unfurled. And we can't edit it now, so that must be correct. Do the same with this one. The Duke of Romagna obviously wants his flag flown on the catapult. Oh, wow. And here... Ah, we can wind this side of the catapult. <coughs> Forgive me for clearing my throat a lot. I had a spicy curry last night and some fairly creamy porridge this morning, so it's all it's all full of mucus back there. Ah, oh, yes. I, I mean, I was talking about mucus. I wasn't really paying attention to what happened. So we wound that round. This fell down um, with the red shit in it. Ah, oh, I think that's, that's the stuff that we throw at the enemy, isn't it? Uh, but then that, in turn, let us get into here. That shape. That's the shape we said we needed to remember. That goes up on the right there, so that's good. And we'll press this too. Whoa! We launched the cannon, lit the light. Oh wow, and now we have access to an incredible globe. Step by step, I'm revealing all the secret places in the Master's Workshop. But we're not quite done here yet, are we? I like to finish a place before I go to another place. No, come on, don't you tell me that doesn't go in there. It's a strange metal part, to be fair, but... Does that not go in there? No, I suppose it doesn't, does it? It could fit in there if you pushed it in. But I don't think Leonardo... Da Vinci was all about, oh, just cram this in there. It'll be fine. It's not his style, is it? Right, so here... What do we have here? Button to press. Things to slide? Oh, nothing Nothing works. I could look around it. What about if we go downwards? Nope. Now, I've noticed on this we've got some fluid which goes green, blue, purple, green, blue, purple. I assume that's just for, you know, flavour. It's not there for... Can you imagine the flavours? Delicious... Uh, purple berry. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, how do I get out of this? Click on it. I want to get to this thing, but it won't, <laughs> it won't let me go to it for some reason. We get to the desk, but not to this. I, I can see this, but it doesn't let me interact with it. Um, so I guess we'll leave it for now. We take this back because this could be useful. Let's do it again. Launch. I'm glad I can do that twice. 
Okay, so at least we know, just in case we need to relight it. Another achievement, perhaps? The file cutter. Codex Atlanticus, 1480. Slightly odd bit of texturing there. We'll forgive it. Okay. What do we have here? Yannick, have you have you played this game? Presumably you have. I mean, that fits in there, doesn't it? T with a little cross on it. Yeah. Oh, we need to line line it up so it's not uh, not a complete mess. That's not going to help. Okay, so we've got this one and this one, and is that just the two, or is there a third? No, there is a third. Okay. Let's line it all facing upwards. So we've got the bottom one there, top one there, and the middle one there. Now it should fit in. No? Have I not quite lined them up properly? Oh, come on, that's... surely that fits. Do I have to angle this at all? It should definitely go in, shouldn't it? That's the right shape. I only assume I've just not done it properly. Let's do, let's do it upside down, see if we can re reorient it somewhat. There's one thing that helps is we've got the patterning on these wheels that helps as well, doesn't it? That looks pretty solid to me. Oh, but... Ah, oh, there's a th like a third gap below it all, so maybe it does need to go up this way. Is there anywhere that this wheel should line up with on the outside? Can't see anything, it looks like it's its own thing. So let's line it up with, presumably, the gap that's underneath. There we go. That looks really nicely lined up there. And if we line this one up similarly, bring this one around as well so we can see what we're doing. Pattern on that outer wheel looks perfect. And then this one pattern looks perfect there. I'd say that is our... That's our gap. We can't get better than that. Really? Really, 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 really? Maybe it's just like a pixel this way? It can't rely on having it just an extra pixel here or there, surely. Yeah, you see, it needs to needs to line up with the um, the inner one that I can't move. But I can't see how it lines up better than that than what I did there. Yeah, that's slightly off, I think. Perhaps it just needs to tweak back that way a touch. There's no sort of telltale clicks to say, yep, that's correct. Okay, we'll leave that for now. Um, not quite sure why we're not getting that correct, but maybe it needs to be at a certain different angle or something. Maybe there's something I don't quite have yet. We need to add something onto this, maybe. Slip the old seal off. Oh, we can't do it. When I first encountered the Duke Borgia, I was amazed both by his intelligence and the cruelty he knew how to wield, and his connection to the hive mind. He could not perceive any obstacle to his ambition. With the honours and the authority which he bestowed upon me, I could have foreseen that our bond would be very difficult to break. I created for him a mechanical toy built into the globe that perfectly represents his soul. It was meant to appease him and to help me get free from his service. The Duke did finally grant me my release, but what I did not know at the time was that it would not be it will not be so easy to leave someone else. 
OK. Oh, no, I'd like to go back here, please. OK. Slides over there. Presumably this one slides too? Hmm. In the desk, there's a secure metal cover. Yes, indeed, there is. And I think we've, we've slid one of the panels away. Now we've got to see about how we slide the other panel away. I don't think it's with that. Have a look at this crumpled up old mess up here. Anything useful in that? Maybe we have to... Maybe we should uh, burn it and there'll be something good inside. I could see something in there. Does this reveal anything? Ah, this reveals something. Hang on. We're on time mode here. There we go. Okay, try my best to trace this pattern. Oh, I did it. Ah, it's a crumpled up piece of paper that we're presumably going to uncrumple. Sidus terra lapis ignis. Yeah, we'll keep it, keep it like that, I think. Will that now stay as such? Presume not. Don't want to keep going out of it, I want to get closer to it. Sidus terra lapis ignis. All right. So we don't need to burn the paper, that would have been a terrible idea. I was thinking because we had fire here, maybe we could. Right, so that's what we do once we've got into here. Oh, what's that down there? Hello. Hello. Unusual key. Oh, these don't combine with other things, so this does just go in the way it is. I'll 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 worry about that when we have to, but we've got other stuff we can play with now, so let's angle that up so it's the right way up. Completed. Item. An adjusted unusual key. Can I do anything with this one? I think I've tried. I can't get my mind off this one. No. Let's have a look at the unusual key. It now has kind of a... Is that a horseshoe-ish type of pattern? It really is an unusual key. <laughs> Should we just try sticking it in there, see what happens? No. All right, what else do we have? There was a space here for an unusual key. Doesn't go in there. Of course it doesn't go in there. That's fine. I'm going to have a look at this again. Yeah, I just don't seem to be able to interact with that, which is strange. I'd like to have a look over by the tools. Oh, I can't. Let's go and have a look over there. No. Nope. Oh, look, it's the, the, the thing that we saw someone gliding down from the tower on earlier. I think that was Da Vinci himself. Also looks like this can maybe rotate, and then I'll be able to launch some fire over at that, which will let me light up the area and go and see it. Well, I reckon. I do still have that. I'm just just, just re-familiarising myself with what we have available to us on the catapult. And there's that too, let's not forget. Okay. So at the moment it, it still feels very much like we've, we've got to get this globe open, doesn't it? Double check there's not a, another secret compartment on here. By any markings or anything. 
That doesn't look like it. Uh, and similarly on this, actually. Any markings or any inner workings we need to be aware of? Doesn't look like it, and we can't... Can't turn it. Oh, hang on. Yes, we can turn it. But not just so it can twist off. So we can line stuff up, presumably. There we go. That's lined up nicely. Then... Oh, I need to be able to see down here. There we are. That's... Hang on, that's nearly there. I need the two dark bits next to each other. Uh, there. Ha! Metal object in the shape of a sun. The sun. And that's attachable, and I bet you anything it attaches to this metal bit. Yeah, look at that. Slide that in, slide it round, and we have a sun-shaped key. Fantastic. I'm still miffed that it didn't fit in there and we could stick the sun on it afterwards. That was slightly misleading, but that's okay. At least we didn't at least we know the game's not bugged. <laughs> Ooh. Open sesame. Wow. Look at that. Okay, nothing there. Nothing time-wise either. Right. I love this music too. Giving me slight Talos Principle vibes, this music, actually. Now the question is, how do we turn this globe, or how do we manipulate it? Then use the key. Do we use this key? Where would this key fit? I need to undo that somehow. That's probably by sliding this around. Yes. Excellent. Okay. We've got those two open. Can we close it again? No, we can't. So it's, it's supposed to remain open. That's good to know. Um... Anything else in here? There, it just feels like we need to line these up properly. And we've got the equator running around there where we can see, or the ecliptic running around there so we can see how it lines up, but I, I can't seem to rotate any of the pieces. We get incredibly close in there. Oh, there is something once you get close in. Now that's cheeky. Can't see it until you get right up close. Okay. So this will let us put in a code which will be one of the words written on that crumpled up piece of paper, I'd imagine. And same with that one. Okay, how the heck are we going to work out what we're doing with that? Um, got a horse there. We've got the lower part of, what, dragon maybe there? Oops. You're gonna make me redo it, here. Make me use my memory and my brain. How dare you. Right. Sidus terra lapis ignis. Oh, so, from top to bottom. That should be easy enough, then. One, two, three, four. Sidus terra lapis ignis. Sidus terra lapis ignis. So we've got Sidus terra lapis ignis. So this should be terra and lapis. Got a nice terra in there. Beautiful. And it goes into place by itself. Perfect. Well, does it? Quite. Well, we'll put lapis in here. Very much feels like this game was made for a uh, touchscreen. 
much like the room. Slightly strange doing the swiping up with your mouse. Good though. This one is Cygnus. Ah, crap, how do we... There we go. Throw little, little curveballs here and there and everywhere, don't they? Cygnus. Oh, Cygna. Gotta be Cygna. Damn it. Keep wanting to right click in order to stop having thing on the screen. The Oculus. Cedus, not Cygnus. Cedus Ignis. There I am, right clicking again. There we go. Right click just takes me back. Cedus. Conflating it with Ignis. Quite forgiving with the alignment there, thank you, game. <laughs> ah, I think a special key goes in there. And you? Oh no. Oh no, don't tell me I need something for that. That comes out. Flower ornament, cool. Chuck it in there, and it goes. Beautiful. Too much of a worry. Ignis! Second slash third slash fourth boss of Ulduar. Whoops, not Ignus, Ignis, Steve. Yeah, Yannick, thank you so much for this game once again. I won't keep on thanking you ad nauseum, but it's nice to play something that's just that little bit more relaxed and thoughtful. Um, getting me away from the stress of such things as dead space and like. What's going to be inside? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, can we play a massive battle strategy game to get the next stage done? Try to conquer the whole map of Europe. You can only move between the countries linked with grooves. Remember that you can only conquer a country if your army is larger. You start in Sardinia with 31 soldiers. Oh my god, this is going to be that. I hope it's as... This is great. Okay. What do we have here then? Ah, oh, come on. Even if it does do that, I don't want to cheat. We start in Sardinia, do we? So that's here. Corsica's up there. Oh, they're links, look. Corsica and Sardinia. I wonder if the French have anything to say about that. Oh, no, this is the 1500s, to be fair. Okay, are those movable? No, those must be the other armies. Right, so we've got 31 people, and we need to go and conquer everything else. So if we go there... Interesting. What did that do? Did we lose some based on this? So let's do that again. Let's, so we've got 10 here, 14 there. I want to see what happens. This is testing how we conquer. So 10 to 14, we lose. Okay, so 31 to 14. Thirty-one and fourteen do make forty-five. That's correct. Oh, we can only conquer. I see. I see. I was thinking that we get like the difference between us and them or something. But no, what we do is we completely overtake them, and then they all become ours. But we just have to do it with larger armies. So forty-five and thirty is yeah. What's that going to be? That's the seventy-four plus thirty-two will get us to more than seventy-seven. So we're fine there. Um, the only thing is we've got a waste of 45 down there, but maybe we'll be all right. So if we go up there, there we go, 48 each. Then we go to here, that will add 32 split between the three. Uh, the four. Maybe. Why is that only 48? Is it because it's splitting each time? Right, so 48 to 19. What I'm expecting to happen is for the 19 to be split five ways, so that's four goes onto each of these pretty much, so we'll be on like 51, 52. 67. 
Okay, 67 plus 38. Let's try that a sec. That should take us... If, if it adds 38 to each of us... Now, I don't get quite how that's working, but... It's okay. We just took over the whole of Europe, so it's fine. <laughs> I thought I understood how those numbers worked there, but then I, then I stopped understanding. What are you? A wooden tool with ornament. Cool. Right, have, we, have we overtaken it? That's my question. The whole map of Europe. You can only conquer a country if your army is larger. Yeah. So we should be able to just conquer that. No. Let's have a little look at this, shall we? The bottom of it is a, well, an inverted triangle. Don't think that's going to do anything with these. I can click these, but not pull them up or push them down or do anything with them. So we've got the whole of Italy anyway. Look at England over there, 300. And we go to Africa and we need 790, right. Thirty-six each. Okay. That can move that way. It can't move up there. It can't move up there either. Why not? What's in the way? Nothing. But these can still only move between each other. Okay. We do have half the map available to us, but they're just not coming up. Maybe we need to put this little wooden ornament in somewhere to, to advance it to the next step. That. Oh, hang on. That should just go on there. Oh, that's where it came off, right? Okay. Maybe it'll help us open this. Read that. Goes on this one. No, it doesn't, Steve. We need to have the right shape. That inverted triangle shape. Should we go back to here and have a look and see what we've got? available to us. Any inverted triangle shapes over here? That's the shape I'm talking about. Not as far as I can see. What about up here? No. I really want to get to this box, but clearly it's not going to happen. Double check we've not missed anything over there. Doesn't look like we have. Hello. I oh, know that's the key, isn't it? That should definitely flip round. It's the thing that's slightly frustrating me, is that I can see this is going to tell us the next thing we have to do. But I don't know how to how to move it. But nothing there or there. It's all well and good that that was here, but why do we have this? Can't add that to any of our towers, can we? 
Don't see why we'd want to anyway. You can even see here, look. Also something here that will work to some degree. But, ah, we need to get our people. That's why we need to get down here. We need to get our army across here and then slide it across there. That will open up whatever we need to do next. So I, I think whatever we're doing still must be based somewhere here. That did come off here, didn't it? I'm just starting to try to remember where it fits there. I'm just trying to remember how it how it came about. Some stuff sort of happened. These all flew open. Like these were all locked up like these. And they flew open and now we've got these things available to us. I just sort of want to put this on here, twist it round, and then get all these to pop up. Because we need the next thing we need to do is to start attacking all these countries. Um I can't quite see how we get them to come up. Use your eyes, Steve. We've, we've tried this, and I don't think it's revealing anything. Should we get a bit closer in? No. They all seem purple. we rotate this just by clicking it? No. No worries. Any dodgy little area on this that I'm missing? How about lower down? That doesn't let me click lower down, so it seems I can only really get into this area. Do a free reign for how we go around the board. Hang on, have a look at this. Ah, I thought there might be something interesting there. Thirty-six, 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 thirty-six. We just need you to come up, please. <laughs> how do we get you to come up? I mean, that's just not working. Um, he's definitely moved like that. That one will not shift towards the 20 there. A bit slightly differently. See if there's anything else we can't... We weren't able to see from overhead. Looks okay. Oh, it's going to be dead easy to take these. And hopefully that. Perhaps we are missing something on this. A really good look. Was there a clue in this note, perhaps? Let's check this. No, no extra secret writings. Honours and authority bestowed upon me, very difficult to break. A mechanical toy built into the globe that perfectly represents his soul. It was meant to appease him and to help me get free from his service. He finally granted my release, but what I did not know at the time was that it will not be easy to leave so easy to leave someone else. Okay. Hello. Ah, lovely. Oh, it's so nice when you make progress. Here it is. That's where we put that. Give it a turn. Is that the right way? Yes, it was, because now we can slide those bits out. What on earth is this? Aha, a model tower. That's what we need to carry on. Okay. Oh, I was thinking I was going to have to cut 
start making cuts in the episode there, but I think we might be okay. On you go. Superb. Are they all the different factions? All the different families? Yeah, they are. Look, there's the Ottomans over there. And I thought I recognised this one as the... Is that the Hamburgs? I wonder. You've got the Danes up there. Right. Success! Italy is yours. However, you now face a new challenge. The territories located to the north and east of Italy. Prove your strategic thinking and conquer these territories into your kingdom. Well, strategic thinking is one thing. Um, I mean, all I can do to begin with is go 36 to 20. And I, I need to look at what happens. So we're on 36 and 20. I need to understand exactly what happens when we conquer. Right, 36 and 20. That's added 12 to each one of these. So 20 to get to 48 was 28. 36 to 48 was 12. That doesn't, it's not like that's doubled. I don't understand how that works. Maybe you consider some of them die, but then you redistribute. Um, well, if we go to there, that's all good. We should be able to get all of those then. Oh, we also need to get down there, so... Yeah, let's go there first. Conquered. Conquered. Maybe I don't need to worry about the numbers. No? There we go. Maybe the numbers are just... slightly random. Uh-oh. Great Britain and Ireland are getting into... into things. You are doing well, and you show the abilities of a great commander. Go on to conquer the rest of Europe. Your goal is to reach Africa. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I think the only next thing I can do is go like that. Lovely. We're on 104 in each. We'll get the 34 from there. Can't get into England yet, but Spain is up for grabs. Whoops. Oh wow, 49 everywhere, that sucks. That a big a big bloodbath then. <laughs> We're on 13 in each. Hmm. That doesn't feel so good suddenly. Is that because we've been overstretching ourselves? Interesting. Okay. There is something I'm missing. So let's just see how that how that happened again. So we went from there to there. 175 goes down to 104, because we've just spent a lot of manpower to do that. I mean, the only place I can go now is there. But we did this before, and then we went there, and yeah. Okay. Let's go up there and uh, forfeit this one again, and we'll work it out one more time. Oh, what the heck? There we go. Surrender. Surrender me good. So if we... If we did try taking that, what what happens? 175 to 351, we just immediately surrender. Cool. Well, why don't we go for the 123 over here instead, then? Now we've gone up to 158. Let's incorporate some more. 200. Yeah, so taking the little ones obviously mean we get more added in. Whereas when we go for the bigger ones... We seem to lose some sometimes. But now we're much higher than 143, so we should go up. <laughs> we didn't go down as much. Let's get that. 207. That ain't bad, but again, we're not... Oh, hang on. We've got Scotland to take. That's only on 100. Maybe we could have done that earlier and I just missed it. Boom. 297. It's not quite going to cut it, is it? What if we try taking England with that? Yeah, we we get owned. But there's only 18 there now. Okay. 
Well, let's try it slightly differently then. We'll take that because that seems to help us. And instead of taking the 46 there, we'll go straight for the 143 over here and see what happens. Fine. So that's diminished all of our people, but we've got 34 and 46 to take. So let's take the 46. 37. Take that one. 13. Yeah, okay. Something's not right with this. Well, so something's not right with how I'm doing this. Let's defeat ourselves and go back to square one. Um, maybe we start up in Scotland then. We'll go for the, the lowest number first. So we get the lowest number of casualties. Maybe that's what we need to do. Go for the lowest each time. So by that um, logic, I guess it's Spain next. 2-2-1 two, two, one to 1-2-3 one, seems like a fairly decent bet. 288, that's good. We'll be able to take England soon. Uh, so now do we take that or do we take that? I sort of think we want to take the small one. Add some people in. There you go. So now we can take the UK uh, we can take England. But maybe we don't yet. Maybe we take this one first, because with 330. That can only go up. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> Add another 34 to the troops. Or however that works. Then I think the next lowest. Yeah, 300. Then we'll get the 55. Then the 351. Then the 512. Go. Lovely. 55. 351's going to hurt a little bit. No, it didn't. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure how these numbers work. That's okay, we learned the rules as we went along, and now we have enough to... take Africa. All right. Slide that around and have a look what's underneath. <gasps> a new shield! Superb. I think we want... I'm not quite sure what we want. Do you want to make a Pokeball shape? Doesn't look like it. Can't move the middle one now. The middle one looks like it's stuck in place. Oh! Ah! Okay, so they were opening this so it could slide out. Gotcha. Take the small shield. It was on the back of it. Just a little divot. And oh, we know where that goes. We know where that goes. Back to our old friend, the catapult. Slider down. Ooh. More stuff. We'll take the key. The metal key. With what kind of end? Ah, oh, we can't see it. Wish we could rotate 360 degrees. But it looks like it's like a... an octagon or something. Maybe even more sides than an octagon. An engraved crank. We need to look out for engravings. Depress that. Um... There's also a hole there. We can see into things. Well, I suppose that's where the crank fit in, wasn't it? Key go on there, perhaps? A crank go on there? No. Something's going to go in there. It's got to be the key. And finally, it's up. Up and open. What's that on top? Blue crystal. That's going to end up going down there, I reckon. Oh, yeah, look, it's the right shape. Chuck it in. Here we are. Oh, goodness. Yeah, no, let's not do that yet. I don't know what I'm doing with that. <laughs> but I think probably the crank 
will go in there. Won't let me yet. Maybe it goes on top of that. Well, thinking about it, saying I don't want to do that yet, um, I don't know if there's much else I can do here. So perhaps that's what we do. Let's think about what it might be that we want to do here. We want to create some sort of gears. <coughs> Excuse me. Mr. Mucus. Oh, we're playing Towers of Hanoi. Okay. This is where... Bigger ones can only go on... T smaller ones can only go on top of bigger ones. So you have to keep on readjusting throughout. Oops. Ah, uh, what are we doing? Think about it, Steve. Um... We want that one off there. So yeah, we need to put that one on there, 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 that one on there. There it is. Now we can move that one. And we just reverse it. Do we? Uh, yep. Ah, now I've lost this now. Hang on. I want to just start again. <laughs> okay, this needs to be on that. Uh, how do we do it? Assuming we want it on the middle one. We start on that, then move that one to there. No. My cat has jumped onto my shoulders again. She started doing this recently because she's silly. Because she's a silly billy, aren't you? I might just turn the uh, camera on so you can see that. Um, there you go. Lights aren't on, but here she is, and the heart rate monitor's not plugged in. Christy, say hello to the camera. Oh, you silly billy. Yes, I love you too. <laughs> there she is. I know, you like my beard, don't you? Ooh. You're going to scrabble around like that. Good girl. Hello. That's Misty. She's a lovely girl. But she started being cheeky and jumping up on my shoulder, which is uh, not what I usually go for. But we love you, so we'll we'll forgive you. Now, where were we with this? Um, ah! Oh, the claws! Bloody hell, she just scrabbled away down my front. Um, I think. Yep. Yeah. Let's think. So that goes on there, and that can go on there, then that can go on there. That goes across there, that goes there, that goes there. Oh my goodness. A mildly frustrating <laughs> puzzle when I wasn't giving it my best thought after an hour and a half of play, and also had a cat jumping on me. I will right, we'll crank this round, and as predicted, this will now fire something. Over here woods. Oh, it's a shame that clips into there. That's a that is a shame. But let's go and light up the new area. A doin Oh we missed. Suppose we need to check where <laughs> we're actually supposed to be aiming for. Um should this line up at all? Doesn't look like it's going to, does it? And where's the where's the lantern that I might be able to hit? I suppose we on. definitely want to go over there, don't we? 
I guess we could just keep on sort of aiming slightly willy-nilly. Or maybe... Aha! Yes. That's how we line shit up. There we go. Good. Just checking there weren't any others. That one will do. Round she goes. Over she goes. Lit she goes. New area unlocked. What is Leonardo hidden under the Baldak Inn? I've never heard of a Baldak Inn. Don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. What has he hidden? Something intricate and complex, no doubt. Yes, that's what I expected. Okay. Well, first of all, we'll take that, because it's really nice. A tetrahedron. Right, something made me think we needed to check that, but nothing. Right, well, the tetrahedron's going to go in there, isn't it, surely? Just bung it in. Oh! Oh my goodness. Can't seem to slide anything across on this yet. So we'll, we'll leave that for now. There must be something else we have to do. I see you're drooling on me. I've had enough of you now. Gross. Okay. Um, there's plenty to look at here. Oh, that's actually a disc with grooves. Fine. That will probably be what we need down here. Then we can slide stuff in and out. So we'll need the four there, two there, one there, three there. We do this. Uh, yep, that's cool. Now we need the four across there, don't we? So if we move that out of the way first. That over to there, that over to there, that over to there. Three can just go straight in. One can just go straight in. Four can go straight in, and two can go straight in. Beautiful. And now we have a cube. A hexahedron. My apologies. Leonardo. We're using the layman's terms. Where do you think the cube's going to go? Oh, sorry, the hexahedron. Oh, it won't let me go around that side yet. It's gatekeeping. Okay, I need to do whatever's here first, I guess. Here to be a lot that I can do. Oh no, I just <laughs> fine. I just spin it round. You see that there? little key-looking thing. Okay. Again, just double check this. Make sure, there's nothing weirdly hidden. Right, so we need another one of those spinny things. Not interested in that. I am interested in this. I don't think that's going to do anything yet. That I'm interested in, but I can't click on. Yes, I can. Just had to go at it a different way. Disc with long groove. We rotate this at all, or was it just a pressy thing. Yeah, it was. I assume that this disc goes in here. We're going to work out what the hell we're going to do. The one needs to go across there, four's across there, so two's in the way, first of all. Let's chuck two over there, get it out of the way, and that lets us get four, hopefully, in place. Ah, oh, it rotates nicely, thank you. Right, four's in place. Now we'll get one down here. Come on, one. Get in. It means three can slide immediately across. It's 
a long groove, so we should be able to get two in one. Perfect. Two next to one, should I say. Ha ha ha. And then one. Across we go. Now to use those. Item found. Three piece object with threaded rod. That's easy. I know what we do with this. What shape is this if we uh, we can press it a little? Tell you what it is. It's uh, an infinitohedron. Well, actually, since it's polygons and it's a game, it's not infinitohedron. Otherwise known as a sphere. A uh, sphere goes here. Down you come. Ooh. Interesting. Release this from its captivity. Bung it in the groove. All right. One straight across is tempting. But I fear that that's not going to help. Um. Ah. It's not at the right orientation. So, yeah, we, we are going to want to do something differently. Um. What about if we get one out of the way? Oh, this one's tricky. I assume then what we're going to want to do is have. Let's test it. Two goes in from the top and gets spun all the way around to there. No. We need it to be that that orientation, don't we? How do we go from upside down to the correct orientation? Not sure. Um, yeah, thinking about it then, if we get three across... It doesn't rotate when you take it around there, but the only difference we can have... So if I then put it up there... Yeah, 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 okay, so what we need to do is get things that are upside down in here rotate it round, bring it up here, out, get it back round again, into here, and then back round, and in it goes. Goodness gracious. All right. What we can do then, let's get one out of the way so we've got extra space. Uh, and so we can get four in place. Um, put one down there. Four is upside down, so let's do what we said. We need to get it in there, bring it up to here, Who's going to be in the way, but it won't be in the way because we can move it in advance. We'll just rotate it through. So two can go over there. Now four is in the right place and the right orientation. Across we go. Yeah, I'm, this is good. I'm enjoying this. Uh, we're going to have to just let two go again and get wrongly aligned. Actually, no, it won't be wrongly aligned. It'll be perfect. We'll have to get one back as well, obviously. Hang on. I think we want to do these in order, so we're going to do one first. Like that. That's in place. And two. Yeah. This is this is the hardest puzzle so far, brain-wise. Um, and I really enjoyed that. I took some actual thought, rather than just trial and error. Okay. Give me that special geometric object. Gonna be a... What the hell is that gonna be? A dodecahedron? 
think so. The Pentagon, so what's that? Yeah, I think that's ten. Ten faces. Maybe it's not. Uh, we do want to be able to close it. That's how we close it. Come on. Shut. And you... There we go. This is a dodecahedron. Which means 12, 12 faces. Uh, did anyone see a dodecahedron place? I don't think that's it. Is it? No. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> we burn it in the fire, perhaps. No, stop being silly. Um, perhaps now it's time to start doing something with these. So that might represent the dodecahedron. I don't know quite how we unlock this. The lock going down there. Aha! There it is. That doesn't look like the right shape though. Now I can see it. We'll try chucking it in anyway, but I don't think that's... Oh, it is... That's not the right... Oh, it is the right shape. I was thinking there's six sides to that shape, and there's only five to this shape, but it's dodecahedron, which means it's got 12 sides, so that's divisible by six. God, that's really... really confusing. Geometry was not my strong suit. <laughs> okay. These look simple enough. Ah. Oh. Am I, uh... Not allowed to get in there yet, then? They all have to be like, no, no, surely they have to be aligned like this. There. No, oh, come on. Go into the right positioning. Ah, just making sure it stays there. Clicking them doesn't do anything. This isn't sliding out. Maybe I've now got it to the stage where it can slide out if I press something that I need to press. Yeah, those are all those are all in place. Double click them. Again, we'll we'll look at this, but I can't see anything that will let that go. Nothing time wise either. We need something that will go into the centre there in order to make any of that work, so that's not not for us yet. I'm going to look down here. Ah, where we find a key. A wrench with a cross head. That's going to let us twist this. We've unlocked the other side anyway, so maybe we have to do something over here before we can use it. This is going to be a cube. Or, no, it's not. It's going to be the other thing. Ah, uh, uh, it's twisty twisty time. We get it to that position, and then it should slot in. Yes, octahedron. There we go. Made up of triangles. Ooh. 
there. Metal ram's head. And a large gear. Metal ram's head has a screw on the back of it. Can't turn anything round on it at the moment. And nothing shows up with the special eye. That's normal as well. I feel that's got to go in there. Oh, perhaps not. I mean, that doesn't go in there either, does it? I missed something there. Something extra. Oh, that's just where the thing was sitting. Now might be a chance for us to go and see what this is all about. Did we investigate that before? Can't seem to investigate it now. See that one again, but I want to see that one. <laughs> Does this screw in there to open the, whatever the drawer is? To, love to go and see that a bit more closely, but maybe we did use that beforehand. And it's all done. Check some other areas that we've not been to for a while, like these. All good there. This thing was done, that thing was done. Just this now? It's really confusing me. Oh, I can't even turn those now. All lined up beautifully. Still trying to get us to use this. Let's see if there's any timey stuff that's come up on this thing now. Doesn't look like it. Maybe the sheet, the ram's head goes on this thing. Ah, it's not going to, is it? Come on. We've done what we needed to do with that. I don't know about any more of this. Perhaps the gear goes in here somewhere so we can angle whatever this is. Bit on there or anything? Done that key. Ah, hang on. Ram's head. It's used for ramming. Now we're able to do it. Perfect. Oh, gosh. Engraved metal handle. That might be for the drawer. Have a look at it. Ooh. That looks like it's going to work this thing in the middle. It does. Well, maybe it was a bit ambitious to do one episode where we do two rooms in full. <laughs> but this could be your opening episode, that's fine. We'll shorten them next time to one per room. Nice to have a long one, isn't it? She said. Pull this out. Can't pull that out. I don't know what that is. So we'll leave it well alone. Can't investigate that more closely. We've got a relief there with nothing in it. We've got a relief there with something in it. But I can't do much with. Cool. Can we see this one? No. Nope. Neither of those ones. Yeah, that thing's not ready yet. I want to look up at the clock tower. Okay. We 
We have a gear cog thing, but I don't know quite what that's going to do. Um, I don't think that goes on top of there, does it? No. We need something square in the top of that, and we need a huge bloody key for this. One last look over here. There's no way of interacting with that. Let's have a good look round with the, the eye. If we've missed anything. Doesn't seem so. Now with the time thing. There we go. Ooh. Okay. What happened to this? That came up. And then we can see a key at the top there unlocking it, look. Those things come out. We've got to angle these towers a little bit. And then angle them back, and the roof slides off. Okay. But before we do that, we need to, yeah, unlock the top bit with a key. We need to find the key first. Um, then we can start moving those bits. Interesting. Yeah, because those are locked in place, aren't they? It's got to be something to do with this, isn't it? Do not know what we do with that. Have we set it on fire? I don't know. <clears throat> and where's the key? He's going to be hidden probably in that drawer. Probably that drawer down here, isn't it? Do not know how to get into this, if this is a drawer. We've got those in the right places. Just chuck that there. <laughs> We've checked this already, but it's good to double check it. I think there must be a secret button hidden somewhere that we need to press in order to open that. But let's have another look round on all of the places here first. I'm sure we're not missing anything. Can we click down here? We can click down here. I think that's just where we found one of the geometric shapes earlier. I don't think we're going to get much in the way of secret buttons down there. Um down this way. Can't interact with any of that. Get back to here, but really it's just to see an empty drawer and an empty compartment. That's empty. Nothing on that one. We took what was on there, and I still can't see any buttons or anything. None of the rest of these flowers do anything. Up we go. Let's see it one more time. We can draw a lovely triangle this time. Okay. So, up it comes. Anything else that gives us a clue? Let's look at it on this side. Got a big old key unlocks those. They move, they move, it opens. Look on this side as all that happens, shall we? Comes up. Ooh, hello. You can see a key inside it. Maybe that's just a bug because it's there for a single frame. And nothing else revealed there. The only other thing that I think about is 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 this and why we've got access to it. Would that be the key? I don't think it is. I can't quite work out what it is. Can I just pull this bit down? No. What 
we look at this bit time-wise? No, we can't do that time-wise. Only if we look at the overall model. Got slidey things there and there. A little... What's that down there? I don't think it's anything. And this. Right, so... We do have some... Strangely positioned... Uh, screws or something there, don't we? But I don't see what we can do with this. It just shuffles it. it doesn't do anything. Can't move these. I can only see three of them anyway, so maybe they aren't relevant. And there's this, but again, we know what we're doing with the church. We just need that key. Okay. What we might do, let's burn the whole thing down by turning this round. Just see if there's anything telling us that that's where it should be. No, there isn't. Okay. Uh, I'd say that was pretty much angling towards that, uh, that little bit of string. Let's do it like that. There we go. This isn't going to work. I'm going to try it anyway. It's fun flinging fiery projectiles across a room. <laughs> cool. Okay. Is there anything else on here that we haven't done yet? Yes, there is. And it's this thing. That thing still hasn't had anything put into it. That obviously won't go in. We do have this cog. We do have this gear. It's got to be used for something. That seems to be finished. I can't see where a gear could go on this now, apart from about there, but it's metal on wood, which I don't think does anything. We got what was inside there. You guys are finished up here. There's nothing else we can do with you. So, I guess it's back over to the globe. Is there anything on the globe we can do? Can't even get back to the globe. That would suggest it's completely finished. Let's go back to this. We got what we needed from that. Obviously that doesn't do anything. Hmm. That's definitely locked behind something, so we can't use that yet. start putting the cog on everything. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't do it. Uh, hmm. Still annoyed about this and the fact that it hasn't opened or done anything. It at, at it at all angles with this on does nothing. Double checking that the time thing does nothing. Still able to get to this, but obviously that doesn't go anywhere there. Hmm. I don't want to be defeated by the church. That's, that's very against what uh, Leonardo da Vinci would be about. I can still access this. Why can I still access this? Normally it locks stuff off when you can't get to it any longer. Back over here. Nothing about the fire. Any hidden bits on the walls? Any hidden bits in this pillar? On the floor? I 
another look at this. A large gear. I can only imagine that goes inside this church once we've figured out how to unlock it. Can't turn that. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, you cheeky monkey. There's the bloody key. I thought I tried clicking on this before and it didn't do anything. Maybe I was just trying to turn it from there. Must double click everything. And there we go, I was just thinking about uh, putting another cut in. <laughs> or putting a cut in, I haven't done it yet. I was very close to thinking, let's look for a hint, but glad we didn't. Which way do we turn then? That one goes back. So right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. Okay. So right. Left. Right. Left. Then. Right. <laughs> Do you know what? This is silly. I need to do it properly. I need to angle it correctly. And we can follow along with the time, can't we? So let's let's do that. With a really complicated pattern. Again, very forgiving. Uh, right, it's open. That goes to there. So let's put that in exactly the same place. And that one goes to there put it in exactly the same place. And this one goes to there. Lock it in. I wish I got a nice click each time I did it, but I suppose that means you'd just be able to brute force it. To there. Does not feel like this is going to work at all. <laughs> I was saying, I wonder if these are based on real life Da Vinci things, or if you could make them in real life, but I realise this bit might be a little bit less um, realistic. Old time turner trick. Onto there. Oh! It actually worked. Oh, it's off. We're in the church and we didn't need to look anything up. Okay. Right, we're in. Slide you across, see what you are. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's open. Nice. What's this? A folding knife. I even... I didn't say it. I should have done, because I'd have looked amazingly clever. But I, I did think that looked like, like one of those pocket knife things. Oh, well, with a knife, we can cut some string, can't we? So let's... Let's cut this. Well, that's not going to do anything, is it? Uh, I want to cut this string. Can I unfold? Yeah, maybe I have to unfold it first. Completed the item. Knife. I can't seem to cut either of those. I don't think cutting this is going to do anything, is it? Oh, it does. Yes, because we untie the knot, basically. And we're able to... Ah, okay. It was keeping that locked. Now we've got the cog, the gear. In it goes. Oh, the dopamine rush. Stormtroopers, the dopamine. Oh, we've got a timed thing. Stop that one there. Oh, man. Keep hold of those, keep hold of those. Stop, there we go. Silver dove crank. What on earth is that gonna be for? Ah, probably that. Crank it up and have a look at this obelisk we've just revealed. A hexagonal block which we can take away with us. 
keyhole on the top. I'm going to have a look at it through the lens. Oh, hang on. No need. Okay. Well, I didn't expect this. Hexagonal weight with some strange thing in the top. Okay. Have a hexagonal weight. On earth are we going to do with that? Let's go on top of here. That's a hexagon. Not a hexagon. <laughs> uh, hexagonal weight. I don't suppose it's time to start getting in there yet. No. Nothing to do with that, I wouldn't have thought. Must be something on here that I'm missing. I suppose putting it back in is what we need to do. No. Oh, wait. So have we got something that, that needs to be lifted or pulled down or something? We've got lots of rope up here that then connect across this direction. So I wonder if maybe we need to put it on something that... Now that's all tied up, so putting a weight on that's not going to do anything. I've got to do it. No. Nope. We just need something that has like a, a hexagon as a relief. That we just chuck it in, right? We put it on that, make that fall back down? No. Anything more I can do with this? That was open and we did it. Pranked that. Old church has turned all Doctor Strange on us. Got the thing from in there, the knife. Which, incidentally, I've now lost. Just can't see where a hexagonal weight would fit on any of this area. What about down here? No. Let's get back to this. We... The only... Yeah, the only thing is that. Oh, hang on. No. I was just thinking maybe that top bit would slot in or something. Is there anything else we need to do with this first that will make it become more clear? Have another look at it like that. Then look at it through the time thing. Nothing. We've still got that to worry about, because that, that does look like a thing we can use. Everything else... I'd say we're pretty much done with. And fire another catapult. But none of this is hexagonal. Sort of like a, a thing on the floor. Let's go back over here. We'll try chucking that here, because you never know. That might be where we need it. Nope. Love to have a good look at this. Oh, we can have a good look at this. <gasps> that is where it goes. It hooks onto there. Hexagonal weight opens the door. Brilliant. Time for confession. My confession is I've sat here for two two hours playing a puzzle game. We through. Oh goodness. Oh! It's creepy. Okay, we're in. We got a forged metal ornament. It's this one. Interact with that? No. In fact, I think that's the only thing we could interact with. None of the rest seems to do anything. Time obviously doesn't work because it's dark in there. What's this? Ah! And finally, after what, an hour and a quarter of trying to 
<laughs> work out what goes in this little metal slot here. We have the metal ornament. Goes in. What does it do? I'm expecting a huge reveal. Everything turns upside down. Possibly not. Maybe we can burn that now. Because this can actually rotate fully. Hmm. No, I don't think so, somehow. The fact that that's moved over there is slightly confusing. I don't know what... Oh! Ah, maybe... Maybe we're able to see... Use that as kind of like a an aiming device. So what could we be aiming for? What do we want to hit? I don't know. Hang on. Let me go back to the... Back to this. Ah! Oh, ooh! Ah! Oh, ooh! I. Look over that way. Presumably through this. Yeah, there we go. I would line that up. But I assume we want to line it up a bit better, so we wind that back. Then go and check it. I call slight bullshit because that was never there <laughs> before when I looked around the room, but that's okay. We want to get get it angled so that it's the correct shape. So I think we need to go back this way ever so slightly. A little bit more. Perhaps I've gone too far, I don't know. It's not right, anyway. No, definitely needs to go left. Left again. It's like we might have had it. Maybe we were just slightly off. Oh! A smidge to the right. Oops. There. But the issue is it's not lined up properly. It's as if we need to move the table. Right? Because... Because as we look through this... It's not fully formed. Uh, maybe, maybe it doesn't need to be fully formed. It's in exactly the right place. Maybe we just need to throw the... Throw the ammunition at it. And I take back that it's uh, slightly cheesy that... Ah! I take it back that it's slightly cheesy that that thing showed up because it may have just been revealed by a, a secret hidden wooden panel or something. That it's symbol on the wall. Don't know. Oh my goodness. Good lord. Another one of Leonardo's inventions allows him to... It went. You can wind back and see what it said. But that's where I'm going to have to leave you guys. That was a nice a nice two hours of uh, the House of Da Vinci. I'm really enjoying this. It's satisfying. It's um, fun. It's slightly... Uh, uh, frustrating at times, but that's that's the sign of a good puzzle game. So, been enjoying this very much, and next time we play, we're going to be looking in here, seeing what on earth all this is. I think it's a reflection of what's outside. Like a camera obscura. Camera obscura. Anyway, love and peace, everyone. Thank you once again, Yannick, and I'll see you all on the next episode. Bye-bye. That's that button. Smash.